Assalamu alaikum hi everyone it's play halal so this is the third part of our tutorial series let's make a racing game on unreal engine 5 so in this tutorial we'll be making a steering system that is controlled by the car ai and we'll make uh, a comparison between our target location and the left and right side of the car so this comparison we will use this comparison to determine the steering amount and this steering amount will be switched between different values by this uh, comparison so it sounds pretty complicated but we will actually explain everything in a way that it is quite easy for you guys so at the end of the video we'll have a fully functional car that is able to turn rotate any sharp angle and able to follow along the spline till the end so you guys be patient and watch till till the end and where you left off on the previous video we'll start just from there we need to actually set the steering and our steering what we have here is if we set this to something like 0 0.7 i guess it'll go on the right and if you give it to negatives 0.7 will go on the left so this is and if we give it a 0 it will go straight so we have left right and straight path so let's just do that let's just uh, add scene component and it is called it will be called right side right side and another one another scene component I guess it will be parented with the mesh and let's call it left side side so you have left side and right side so the left right side the right side should be forward 200 on the X and 120 on the Y axis so it is placed on the right and then we need to put 200 on the x axis for the left we need to put one minus 120 on the y axis so we have it on the left i guess let's just bring this to let's just bring this to and now it's done get location first get world location same thing just okay not this one copy this and this okay we got location of both right side and left side let's just get the distance distance vector same thing here and the below let's just get the distance then bring out target location so we're going to get our distance from target location to the left and also the right side so these two distance this is the left distance this is the right distance so let's say uh, on the drawing that we have a road and we have a target location so we already know the target location is in the front of the car so this is the car so uh, if we are facing actually we are facing towards the car this is our distance okay so this is the distance between the right side so red is right and the other one let's just make another one so and give it a okay the right distance and the left distance with the target location is actually identical and as you can see they are the same size but if we're to if the car suddenly turns 45 degree maybe more let's say the car turns 90 degree suddenly it is turned 90 degree and let's just measure the distance again so if from the right side to target location uh, we have a bigger distance than before and from the left side let's say from the left side to the target location and let's give it a different color like yellow 
as you can see the the left distance is bigger than the right distance so the right distance is actually smaller so when the right distance is smaller as you can see the black line it is smaller than the right uh, left distance when the right distance is smaller than the left distance we need to turn right so turning right actually makes it towards the straight line again so but if the opposite happened then we have the left distance smaller than the right distance so then we'll have to turn on the left so currently if we are go back then we have the right distance smaller than the left distance as you can see black line is smaller so what we need to do is if the right distance is smaller than the left distance so this is our left distance so okay we need to do the opposite so this is our right distance let's put the right distance above and this is our left distance so if the right distance is actually less than the left distance just like the picture we need to turn uh, I guess right because right is smaller so we need to turn right I guess we don't do branch here we just need to get select because this is way easier with select just add this so here we need to define the right value let's say if we are if the right distance is smaller than the left distance then we will turn right with 0 0.7 0 0.7 value and if not then we will turn left with minus 0 0.7 so this is the opposite direction on the left and this will work as long as we play as you can see this thing is turning left and right in order to keep in turn with the target location so it is trying to turn towards the target location with left and right but the turning is quite rough it is quite sudden and the turning rate is kind of constantly changing so it is not stable so we need a way to stabilize this because we our AI car does not know the straight line so they are just turning left and turning right so in order for us to stabilize this actually let's just disconnect the distance we need to multiply this value multiply so the easiest way to actually stabilize and give it a straight path is by zero the value zero actually is the straight path and the value one actually the value one if you multiply these values 0.7 and point minus 7 anyway the value will remain the same so if you multiply it with one it will remain same but if you multiply it with zero it will become zero then we have a straight path so zero is the stabilizer so we need to find a way to make it zero when it is I guess turning too much uh, so we need to find the let's just say mini minus subtract okay let's subtract right distance with the left distance so when you subtract right distance with left distance you need to get absolute so absolute so absolute is only positive value so it does not take any negative or minus value so what we are doing here is getting the getting the comparison so if if you minus uh, I guess subtract this with this right and left you will get a value I guess a distance between those those distance so let's say the difference yeah this is called difference I guess this is difference so the difference between right side and left side if it is less than 15 I guess if it is less than 15 then just keep it straight path if not just keep it on so let me show this on the picture much more easily so when the car is turning so if it is turning very small then it's quite unnecessary it is turning but the turning uh, let's say the distance right distance and the left distance you just 
compare those two distance and if you find that they are not very far away then we don't need to turn actually so we need to give it a zero value so that it is straight so currently 15 is quite low and if the distance uh, I guess the com distance difference is actually less than 15 we would fix zero but if it is greater than 15 we need to turn um, the way it should be turned with this value so and let's just connect it let's see how it does so as you can see our cars are actually going to straight line and they are not turning too much I guess they are not as responsive as they were before with the turning they are pretty stabilized and they are turning when it is necessary and they are not turning when they are going on straight line as you can see this is the target location is quite on the right and they are turning right but now it is straight they are not turning too much so what's going on here so let's just smooth it out so the value is steering is good but we need to make it more smoother because they're turning all of a sudden let's just say that we are turning between I guess the value of 0.7 or point minus 7 or 0 so these three value actually has a big difference so we need to get a lerping to smooth it out let's just put a lerp and let's just get world delta second delta seconds and let's just say that we sh it should be on the B I guess and the A should be 0 so from 0 to this value so we need an alpha multiplier I guess we need a mul alpha multiplier this will actually determine the speed I guess 35 is a good speed if you multiply it by 35 it should smooth it out just enough as you can see now the turning are even more smoother but very close to each other which is interfering there we don't need two of these I guess now we can see how this is as you can see it is quite smoother I guess the turnings are even more smooth there are no rash turning yeah the steering is actually very very smooth and yeah if, if we just zoom it out you will see it is following quite smart yes it does look good so there you there we have it so this is how you do it but it's time to clean up let's just say that we need to clean these things and the best way to clean these things is just collapse it to a macro so we'll call it the distance distance discrimination let's just call it discrimination that's an interesting name to be honest and let's just call the first one as less than less than left so right right less than left and the other one should be called difference difference So these two we now minimized it and let's just say we also want to make the lerp as a macro because we want to reuse it in the future so collapse it to macro and let's call it lerp and we 
this we need to go inside we have the B function that's not a problem but let's just call it alpha okay we don't need actually use the alpha because it is with this one before we need this to be connected to this so we have the alpha and we need to put 35 in here and as for the B value we have a B value and the A value needs to be here as well I guess the A value needs to be go up yeah now it's all done we just have to yeah, it is pretty much done as you can see we have 0 and the B it is lurping quite well and this all of this I'll collapse it to a node and this node will be called steer steering on spline let's just call it a steers on spline sounds way better steer on spline and this is what we have let's just connect this to this so this is just for simplicity nothing else and it's just arrange them properly yeah this looks way better and we don't actually need this right now so let's just get rid of this and there you have it we have our AI system and on the next part we will fix the AI we have a bunch of issues right now with if you bring I guess it works if we bring multiple car it does work but it has to maintain some distance and the brake system actually doesn't work so we need to actually make a better brake system so as you can see this is working even with the multiple cars but it doesn't know how to actually detect each other to actually do braking or slowing down also we don't have a dynamic speed because when we are on straight path we are not actually speeding up on the next part we will fix the looping issue so that our cars can infinitely loop around the road and we will also work with braking so the car can slow down or stop when it is close to the other cars so they able to detect each other and until then please comment share and subscribe also follow me on twitter and if you want to contact me just dm me on twitter or you can just email me until then goodbye peace salam